Welcome to ISTV English News Bulletin. I'm R.K. Primrose and let's see the headlines. First Prime Minister of India, Jawaharlal Nehru's birth anniversary along with Children's Day observed widely in state. Now let's see the news in detail. As being observed in other parts of the country, the first Prime Minister of India, Jawala Nehru's 126th birth anniversary along with the Children's Day was widely observed in Manipur too. The Children's Day was observed at the ideal blind school, Takilpad, under the aegis of the Manipur State Legal Services Authority. Judges of Manipur High Court Justice N. Kotishwar and Justice K. H. Nobin, President of All Manipur Bar Association H. Chandrajit Sharma and Member Secretary of the Manipur State Legal Services Authority R.K. Memcha were the main guest at the observance. Students of the Blind School presented songs in connection with the occasion. Member Secretary R.K. Memcha said the observance was being organized in connection with the birth anniversary of Pandit Jawala Nehru. She recalled how lovingly the first Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawala Nehru, used to treat the children. Justice N. Kotishor also expressed the importance of the children who are the future pillars of the nation to be guided in the right direction. He elaborated the philosophy behind the observance of the Children's Day. The most important stage of the human being society is the human being society. Well, as part of the observance of the Children's Day, the Department of Social Welfare organized a painting competition for children from 6 to 16 years of age at the Bal Bhawan at Kumanlam Park today. The competition was held in three categories. A separate painting competition was also held for differently abled children between 6 and 16 years of age. District Program Officer of the Department, Imphal East, and Madhu Bala said the birthday of Pandit Jawala Nehru has been observed as the Children's Day for the past many years. As part of the National Day, the painting competition was being held. The same program is organized in other districts too, she said. Well, on the other hand, in connection with the observance of the Children's Day for the second time, Councillor Hijam Newton Chandra and his family donated rice and other supplies along with stationary items to the Dulaland Children Home run by Mahila Kalyan Samiti in remembrance of late Noram Ibemhal Laima today. Councillor Newton Chandra said, Among the children living at the children's home, many children have achieved success in life and have been able to stand on their own feet. As of token of love and encouragement, simple gifts were also presented to the children so that they also could achieve success in life. Well, on the other hand, with the objective of keeping the children mentally and physically fit, RIMS Dental College observed Pedodontic Day today. Medical Superintendent of RIMS, Dr. M. Amuba, Principal of the College, Dr. Praveen Reddy, Dr. Charan Kamalkor, and Dr. W. Bhumika Devi took part in the observance. Pedodontics Department distributed toothbrushes, soaps, and toothpaste to children. Dr. Praveen said, since the Pedodontics Department was open in 2010, the day has been observed every year. Various centers have been open and 60% of the dental patients are examined and treated every single day. Dr. Amuba said it is necessary that every child should remain fit, not only physically but also mentally. He also appealed to the people, especially the children, to avail themselves of the facility provided at the department. <laughs> Now let's see some national and international news. 
under attack at home over what is his critics call growing intolerance. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said India's diversity is the country's strength and pride and emphasized the importance of peaceful coexistence. India is full of diversity and this diversity is our specialty, our pride and our strength. Pia Modi said in his address to about 60,000 members of the Indian community in London on Friday evening. He said people were astounded when they saw the harmony in the country despite the diverse religions, over 100 languages and different food and culture. Pia Modi was speaking at the famous Wembley Stadium which hosts rock concert and soccer matches. To cheers from his audience, the biggest yet at any event hosted by NRIs during the PM's visit abroad. He said, you are the true ambassador of India. Wherever people of India have gone, they live in harmony. You have shown how to be sensitive to your neighbors and coexist in peace. The crowd chanted Modi Modi through his 80-minute speech. On Thursday, PM Modi confronted with questions from the British media on incidents of intolerance, said his government was committed to protecting every citizen's freedom. India is a land of Buddha and in our society, we don't accept unconstitutional things. The law will deal with these severely, the Prime Minister said. There have been protests in London during the PM's visit by some groups that have accused him of creating an authoritarian culture in India. Other groups of authors and parliamentarians have petitioned the UK Prime Minister David Cameron to raise their concerns over freedom of speech and human rights with the Indian government during PM's Modi's three-day visit. The visit comes amid a raging debate on intolerance in India after mob killings over rumours of beef eating and attacks on rationalists. Well, the horrific terrorist attack in Paris has been described as the copycat version of the 2008 Mumbai terror attack by security experts in the United States who believe that the incident will be a game changer for how the West looks at the threat terrorism presents to all. Over 120 people were killed as terrorists attacked sites throughout the French capital and at the stadium where the soccer match was underway. Brian Michael Jenkins from Rand Corporation told news agency that the Paris attacks were reminiscent of the November 2008 terror attack on Mumbai, where teams linked to an Islamic terrorist organization carried out a series of coordinated shooting and bombing attacks lasting four days. Before we end up the bulletin, let's see the headlines once again. First Prime Minister of India, Jawaharlal Nehru's birth anniversary along with Children's Day observed widely in state. That's all we have in this bulletin. Keep watching ISTV News.